everybody, I'm Mel Spikes and welcome or welcome back to another adventure foreshore boat ramp. Today it's an afternoon session. The wind is picking up dramatically but I reckon we're going to have a good shot today offshore. It is a Friday afternoon before the long weekend. I figured I'd get in a sneaky little fish before the chaos ensues tomorrow wasn't counting on it to be this windy but let's see how it goes thank you if you guys aren't aware that's the um the charter operator peter he does charters out of botany offshore inshore whatever you want check them out if you want to fish all right so i've got all my offshore gear the snapper in the boat it feels like it's about 10 knots right now the seas are 1.1 which means it shouldn't be too bad out there so i'm going to punch out where i took rob and we'll see if that was just a fluke or whether there is fish holding there on a more regular basis it's a spectacular day it is a great afternoon it's 1 p.m so i've got five hours to play with and then i might even stay till sunset that's why I chose this ramp. Usually you see me come out of Kaima boat ramp. They lock the gates at about 8 or 9 p.m. I'm not sure. This place stays open 24 seven. So if I do wanna stick around for a sunset session, I don't have to worry about rushing back before they lock me in. Everything's out of control, I'm alive. Somebody rang me, so I'm not sure where that video cut off. But anyway, from wherever you are, I'm hoping you're having a great start to the long weekend. Sit back and relax. Enjoy another adventure fishing Sydney. Let's do it. I hope this works out because it is very breezy. I'm going to have to put the camera down low for you so you don't get the wind noise. But it's spectacular. line that should dry but I just wanted to show you guys there is an algae bloom in the water I'll just stop the boat for a second look at the monstrosity of algae in the water there it looks like floating stuff in a bottle of water when somebody doesn't drink it properly look at that so, 
I'm gonna have to keep punching east until I find clean water I think a lot of people say it's not good to fish when this stuff is in the water but it can't be everywhere so I'll give it a go that's terrible I was distracted because this was on the screen while I was talking just then I'm at a 78 meter mark am I lost no I'm not lost I'm gonna drop a bait down here that's bait just to give you an understanding of how my brain works I've just literally said it's no good to fish in that algae bloom and I'm about to drop a bait down in the algae bloom That was an utter waste of time. I'm going to change the rig. I made these for fun. I'm going to try one of them out. It's an LCAT Striker Gang with one of my UV Glow Sinkers, the Armour Coat ones. This is for you mate. I didn't take tablets today. I'm gonna take I'm gonna gain weight eating this ginger. Oh spicy. See how that goes. Let's get out of here. No good, not even a bite out here. The water is disgusting, but the sounder is lit. That's bait. That's a lot of bait. I don't know what I'm going to do from here, but if it's any good, we're going to have a video to watch. If it's no good, I'm talking to myself. There's something, there's something in the water over there. It looks like fish. Is that a more wall? How freaking random is that? That's... I can grab it. Oh. That's a bloody big bowie. I was just doing a little video, I stopped because the algae bloom here is just phenomenal and this giant moe 
which has freshly been caught, mind you. It's just floating. That is a fresh caught moe that's just randomly died. And that's probably the biggest moe that's ever been in my boat. <laughs> that's the first fish of the day and it's not even freaking mine. How weird. I wasn't even expecting to freaking hook up. I've just come off Bondi, dropped the bait down, was yapping on the phone to my friend and I, I've hooked up to something. It actually, it actually pulled drag twice, so I um, tightened up the drag a bit. I should, should back it off, eh? I have no idea what this is going to be. I've never fished here before. I see it coming up on the sounder. Okay, there's colour. Silver Trag Snapper It's a nice snapper It's a nice snapper And it's on my rig It's on my homemade L-cat rig Yes! Yes, no donut today. Alright guys, so this is my prototype rig that I'm making with the LCAT striker flasher gangs you can see at the bottom there it's a fixed spikes UV glow armor coat sinker with an eye on it and that is the first drop off Bondi and that is a big snapper that is a big snapper like look at it against me it's big how freaking good is that on this rig I'll probably make these and sell them if they keep producing like this. This is incredible. Wow. What do we reckon, guys? What do you reckon this is going to measure? It's 48. 48 and going into the tank with David. Where is David? A lot of you were actually really concerned where David was last week. He was in hospital, but he's back now. And came back with a friend. I haven't named this little baby yet. Quite frankly, I didn't need another thing in the tank, but we're going to adopt it. You can comment what name it should be and I will choose one. That's very little compared to David and it's a different species. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna ride this day off to be honest. I don't even know why I came to this area. I figured I'd head kinda north hit the coast and then cruise back maybe stop into Mullabar for a squid was my actual plan but I just decided to stop here in the middle of the fucking 
algae bloom stuff and here we are and I just swore for the first time I'm sorry mum not sorry was the bill's getting too big from you mate you have to stop watching look at that the one-eyed monster if you're wondering what rod and reel combo I use for snapper it's always this rod it's a blade and tail seven foot five to ten pound beautiful carbon fiber rod ATC virtuous 4000 in the high gear high gear faster retrieve good for snapper and more importantly good for a full mono outfit there's no braid and this is just 16 pound mono all the way through let's catch another one done it again I've hooked up to something when I've least expected it it's done nothing it's swimming up at the boat it just could be like a big calamari or something because it's not doing anything that's a snapper it's a snapper It's another one. It's another big one. Far out in this coral bloomy. The coral bloomy and the snapper are on. So the algae bloom, which JT from Tackle World corrected me. Sorry, it's called an algae. So the algae bloom is now called coral bloom. I spoke to JT from Tackle World and he has told me this is coral bloom and it's due to a significant and rapid temperature increase in the water. It is 20.2 degrees right now. It would have been 18 on the weekend. So two snapper on the same bait, on the same rig, one kilometer apart this wasn't where i caught the first one i went one kilometer north so there's a whole stretch of terrain here that's holding very decent snapper and i will give you a hint remember the video i did with c map reveal ledge when i used c map to find that ledge this is the ledge Anyway, he's got a little hump on his head. That is freaking awesome. I'm so proud of this little experimental rig I made. I've got to show Mr. Elcat this. Let's put it in the tank with David after a quick measure. We'll call that 45 and a half to 46 centimeters. Simply beautiful. So the way I'm fishing this rig is dropping it straight to the floor, trying to keep the line as vertical as possible and not having too much slack in the line. Just, I want it just touching the floor. I can see it going down. It's right next to my tranny. So I can actually see it all the way to the floor. And when I hit the floor, I just stop. Which is about there. Thank you. 
gonna I'm gonna do my traditional L cat rig with a little moving sinker only because the other big dudes I made they got big hooks. I don't really want to use size 7 0 hooks here, I want to stay with the 5 0. Twenty pound trace. Connect it to my swivel. Oh, I am alive. gram Lumo sinker and then my LCAT striker gains so that's what the rig looks like now swivel trace sinker LCAT gains I usually have this a bit shorter but I'm going to start off at that length and we'll see how we go with it to get the hook up when you're using mono it's just so stretchy and it could be like five meters before you actually feel tension you're just constantly reeling to get that hook up and the L cat striker gangs never fail this will be the fourth fish into the boat using them probably another snapper Yeah. That's the smallest snapper of the day and it's still damn legal. That is freaking awesome. Look at the rig. Never fails. I'll put it into the tank with the big boys. That hook is never coming out. Beautiful. There's the big boys. Look at the size comparison there. Beautiful. Beautiful. When I run the footage back and edit this video, I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure that snapper was not the first fish to hit the bait when I dropped it down. There was a big hit at first, but I'm going to double check. And that would have been a big snapper coming in for the first and only hit. And it didn't hook up, so little bugger came and said, I'll have that. Or what was left of that, and that's what I got. I 
I swear I heard a whale. Yes. Good fish. Good fish. Yes. Got a bit of oomph in it, this fish. It's another snapper. Close to, I don't know, 40s, early 40s. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna bag out at this rate. That sun is going down. Yeah, beautiful. Long weekend barbecue is going to be epic. Let me know what you guys think about my little invention that I made on these. Let me know what you think. It I swear I heard a whale. There's a freaking whale. I knew it. Going in the tank without David. Over there is a whale. Wow, and it's close. I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy. Maybe it was two of them. It doesn't even matter. I I got the whale. It's probably there anyway. I got it on camera. It is almost October and the whales are still here. What a crazy, crazy experience it's been offshore. The whales are actually going towards Little Bay, which is that way. Shouldn't they have been going north to go to go to their north party, whatever they do up there when they get there? They're going, they're going actually towards towards Malabar, Maroubra, Little Bay. Whales are actually heading southwest. Southwest. They're going the wrong way. huge and I did not have the hook up or I've just been freaking bitten clean bitten clean we'll be right back So I put the big the big hooks on because I've run out of little hooks.
I've never used these hooks before. They are huge. We'll see how we go. I don't even know how I got that, but I was just watching the sounder and I just thought I'd introduce the bait right down to this, whatever it was, nose and I think I'm, now yeah, I got it it's another legal snapper That's on a 7-0 oh hook. I forgot about that until I saw the hook and thought, wow, that's freaking Jurassic. So the sun is just about to disappear. The moon is rising. Wow, I didn't even notice it. Look at that. That's the full moon. Who remembers my first light snapper video where the moon was setting as I was going out and it was still dark. It wasn't even first light yet. Snapper and the moon are linked somehow. Anyway, I've got to get all the way back in. I'm going to smash it out. See you back somewhere else. That's better footage of the moon right there for you guys. Full moon rising while the sun is setting. Wow. This is living. The whale's back. This is living. Sun set. Moon rise. Let's go.
Something's happened, guys. I know it's magnificent looking, beautiful stuff, but something's happened. So, my Min Coda has come out like that while driving, and that little nose bit smashed into it. It like bounced because it was really rough out there. And I've just smashed my casing, which is fucked. So, I've got to get a new one of these or just do a dodgy fix where I put the plate back against here so I can use the power button because that's come off as well. That's freaking shit. Beautiful shit. Romantic shit. Over there is eerie. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all foggy. Anyway, it's nothing Angie can't fix. I'll give him a call when I get out of here and see if he's got one and go pick it up. Should be right. Just got to get back in. It's getting really cold now as well. Look at that. That's the moon. in the Yui, there's something in the water and it looked huge. I didn't get too much of a glimpse coming past full speed but there was something big. If I can find it again. I don't even know what that was. It looked like a freaking cow skull. It always freaks me. Oh, look at that. It always freaks me out when I drive up to the floating fun stuff because one day it might not be fun. Looks like a bit of trash actually. I thought it was a dead bird. It's just paper. That'll sort itself out. Let's go. I did have a banana on boat this whole time. You guys all know Wazza. He put this on my car. He put it on the dash yesterday at fishing club. So, was it yesterday or was it the day before? I don't know. I found it in the car and I figured I'll bring it fishing. Bananas are not bad luck. Bananas are beautiful and amazing. There are a lot of boats going out tonight. Thank you, Waza. Heading towards Kaima, and then I remember. It's 
So I'm back at the ramp now and I just want to say this was a very unexpected outcome for this session. I honestly had no hope of catching a fish and I thought that Morwong was going to be the only fish that entered my boat today. But against all odds, the gamble paid off. Aeroplanes. The gamble paid off and we have some magnificent fish in the boat, which I'm going to show you now. There they are. Ain't she pretty? Beautiful. I'm just walking back to the boat to drive it on and I've counted 19 people fishing. That is incredible. It is the night for it. It's completely still now. It's not too cold. I love it when I see people fishing, especially on land. I was there once and I understand the frustrations and the challenges, but it is brilliant. So another perk about Foreshore is that they have a cleaning facility. Never freaking been in here before and it stinks. It freaking stinks. I don't know who they made it for, but this is where it comes to. It's really high up and really inconvenient, but oh well. I'm gonna scale and gut the fish. all the fish I've done two butterflies I couldn't film it but I want to show you next time how to do it I'll get these back in the boat and I'll say goodbye these are just normally cleaned fish just scaled and gutted these two are butterflied not many people do this and I've actually surprised heaps of people when they've watched me clean and say oh wow didn't know you could do that so that is a butterfly snapper and I put them on the barbecue it's a pretty straightforward cleaning process I'm sure I'm sure people know how to do it but it is quite uncommon. That is the butterfly snapper and you just cook it both sides nice and flat. It doesn't curl or anything. The bones are there. You gut it like that. I'll do a video next time. Well, what, what a session it was. I, I didn't expect big snapper like that and consistent snapper, which was, yeah, very surprising. That coral bloom was um, was a bit of a deterrent, but now we know you can still fish in a coral bloom and you can still fish with a banana in the boat. We learned that too. So I'm gonna go home, we've got a barbecue going. I'm gonna throw some of these snapper on. Aeroplane, please wait. So yeah, when I get home, I gotta cook the snapper. These were the magic rigs. 
if they weren't these rigs, they were the LCAT Striker Gangs. I'm going to give away a LCAT Striker Gang pack. All you need to do is comment on this video. Show me that you exist and you watched it. Make a comment and you'll go into the draw to win. I will draw the winner before the next video comes out, I promise. I might even put some spike, sti uh, some spike sinkers in as well. We'll do that. So just, yeah, show a bit of appreciation to you guys who actually watch this video. <sighs> anyway, thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Thanks for joining me on this afternoon. It was a bloody awesome session. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.